welcome to my channel i hope you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to crochet this single crochet herringbone stitch crochet hat for adults it's very easy to make i hope you like it in my channel i already have a baby version so i'll go ahead and leave the link to that in the information box and if you prefer a written pattern check out my etsy shop i'll leave the link to my etsy shop in the information box as well thank you so much for your support now to make this hat this is the yarn that i used this is a number four yarn you're going to need about 133 grams to make the hat in the same size that i did this is an adult large size you can make your hat for any size any age using standard hat size measurements that i'm going to provide you with here in this tutorial you can make it from a preemie size and up to an adult extra large size okay let's get started don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell so that YouTube can recommend my videos. And if you like this tutorial, please hit the like button. Thanks so much for watching. To make this hat, I'll be using this 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And today I'm using this medium number four yarn. You can use any yarn weight or 10 ply as well. And actually you can use any yarn weight with any hook size. We're going to be making this hat using standard hat size measurements, um, which will allow you to use practically any yarn weight with any hook size. Here are the measurements that we're going to need first we're going to start with the total length and then we're going to continue and make rows until we have the measurement for the head circumference so if you want to take a screenshot these are the two measurements that we're going to need for this hat so to begin i'm going to make the adult large size so my chain right here the initial chain needs to measure between eight and a half and nine inches i made my chain to measure nine inches but to these nine inches i added two inches more so that i can have a nice wide brim just like this little hat this is the hat that we're going to be making this is the baby version in the information box i'll go ahead and leave you the link to this tutorial this is the single crochet hair and bone stitch it's absolutely beautiful so i'm making myself a hat using that same stitch so like i said for adults i'm going to make the adult large i made my initial chain to measure nine inches and to these nine inches i added two inches more so my chain right here it's measuring about 11 inches and i did a total of 44 chains so to begin here into the second chain from the hook one two into the second chain make a single crochet now single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next and so on for this first row this is all i'm going to do it's just one single crochet on each chain at the end of this first row i'm going to have 43 single crochets continue finish this first row and i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this first row this is where i did single crochets i have a total of 43 single crochets now for row two i'm going to chain one and turn now we're going to begin this pattern here this is the herringbone single crochet stitch so to begin here we always start with a single crochet into the first single crochet and insert your hook through both loops here's that single crochet now to make the second stitch which is the first herringbone stitch i'm going to go here to the side of this single crochet right there insert your hook and into the next single crochet through both loops insert your hook and grab a loop make sure that this loop here is nice and loose so that when you close it your hook does not get caught now again we're going to make the second herringbone stitch and same thing we're going to go here to the side of the last stitch that we made insert your hook like this and into the next stitch and grab a loop and close again through the side of the last stitch and into the next single crochet grab a loop and close and this is how we're going to continue for the second row at the end of this row i'm going to have 43 of these stitches from here on we're always going to have 43 stitches make sure that you count each one of these stitches so that at the end of each row you're not missing any stitches so continue like this for this second row and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next 
I'm here at the end of the second row. This is the first row here of this pattern. I have a total of 43 stitches. Now for row three, chain one and turn. Now from here on, these are the two rows we're going to repeat, the second row and the third row. In the third row, we're going to make everything in reverse, starting with the first single crochet. So I'm going to go through the back of the first stitch like this, and I'm going to grab a loop. I have two loops on the hook, close. Here's a reverse single crochet. Now to make the herringbone single crochet, I'm going to go through the back of the single crochet that I did, and I'm going to insert my hook through this stitch right here. And I'm going to go through the back of each one of the stitches from the row before, through these two loops right there. That's where I'm going to be inserting the hook through the back loop. You can see the two loops there for each one of the stitches. So to make the first herringbone stitch, go through the back of the single crochet right there and through the back of the next stitch through both loops and grab a loop, pull it through. I have three loops on the hook, close. Oops. Again, go to the back of the last stitch and insert your hook through that stitch and through the back of the next stitch through both loops, grab a loop and bring it through and close. The back of the last stitch through the next stitch through the back and close. And this is how we're going to work this third row everything is in reverse or through the back. Now remember that if you want to see this part here slower, you can always slow your video player in the settings. You can put this part here to be in slow motion so that you can see where I am inserting my hook for each stitch. There. Continue like this for this third row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the third row. Now to finish this row, same thing. Through the back right there and through the back of the single crochet here at the end which is the last stitch you make your last stitch there this is how i finish the third row i have 43 stitches from here on these are the two rows that you're going to repeat the second row and the third row now for the fourth row i'm going to chain one and turn in the fourth row i'm going to repeat the same thing i did in the second row now in this row, you can see there's two bars for each one of the stitches. We have the two front bars and we have the back of the stitch. For this row, we are always going to go through the two front stitches right here. And we always go through both loops. So let me show you. Here I chained one and I turned. So in this row, I'm going to go through both loops of this first stitch and I'm going to grab a loop and close. So here's the single crochet. Now insert your hook to the side of the single crochet and through both loops of the next stitch and grab a loop and close. Insert your hook to the side of the last stitch and through both loops of the next stitch and grab a loop and close. Make sure that when you grab a loop here, this loop is nice and loose so that you can easily close your stitch. Like this. And again, you can always put your video player slower so that you can see this here in slow motion. That's how you're going to continue 
this is how it looks i know this yarn here is too dark but this is how it's going to look here on the right side you can kind of see it right there and from the wrong side there's a line that forms see right there and right there so that's how you can tell the uh, which side you're on now continue for this fourth row i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of the fourth row here to finish i have my last stitch insert your hook to the side of the last stitch and into the last stitch here at the end make your last stitch i have 43 stitches at the end of this row now for row five i'm going to chain one and turn in this row i'm going to repeat the same thing i did in the third row which is uh, make all of the stitches in reverse so to begin we're going to make the single crochet so insert your hook through the back of the first stitch grab a loop and make your reverse single crochet now through the back of the single crochet we have this stitch or the little bar insert your hook through there and through the back of the next stitch through both loops grab a loop and close here remember that you're going through the back two loops of each one of these stitches here so let me show you again insert your hook through the back of the last stitch that you did and through the back insert your hook grab a loop and close so here's the reverse herringbone single crochet stitch and that's how you're going to continue for the rest of this row once you finish the fifth row you're going to chain one and turn and then repeat the same thing we did here for the fourth row and those are the two rows that you're going to repeat for the rest of the hat until you have the measurement for the circumference for the adult large size this here it needs to measure about 23 inches or 58.5 centimeters um, you can also just measure this around your head or the head of the person that you're making this hat for and based on that you just continue and repeat the two rows for me i'm going to just measure this around my head or see how close i am to the 23 inches and then based on that i'm going to continue and just make rows here so continue repeat these two rows and continue watching i will let you know how many rows i'm going to do here for my hat so continue and i'll meet you at the end of that row i finished making this part i did a total of 71 rows including the first row of single crochets now the last row row 71 was worked on the wrong side as it is it's measuring about 23 inches which is about 58.5 centimeters so for me i have the measurement that i needed for the uh, adult large size so now what we're going to do is we're going to join both ends and we're going to do this from the wrong side so this is the wrong side and this is the right side so to do this we're going to put both sides together like this and we're going to go here on this side this is the row of chains so insert your hook into this first chain here and just grab this last loop from the last row that you did and bring it through now chain one and insert your hook back through this same first stitch this is the chain and now insert your hook through the first stitch here on this side um, this stitch here now make sure that you go through the two loops that are in the back we have these two loops that are in the front and then we have these two loops that are on the back we're going to go through the back two loops and then make a slip stitch now insert your hook into the next um, stitch here which is the row of chains and through the next stitch here in the back through the two loops in the back and then make a slip stitch and this is how i'm going to join both ends now there is no right or wrong way of doing this the important thing here is that it's joined so that we can close the top of the hat so continue finish this part i'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to close the top of the hat 
I finished joining both ends. This is how it looks on the wrong side and this is how it looks here from the inside. This is the side that you're going to see. So now what we're going to do is with the wrong side facing you, we're going to go all around the top of the hat. This here is going to be the top of the hat from now on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to work single crochets all around and I'm not going to make single crochets on each one of the rows. I'm going to make single crochets every other row. Here at the end, I just chain one and now we're going to go here on this side. This side is where I had the row of single crochets. You can see them right there. So right on top of the row of single crochets, make a single crochet. Now skip the next row and on top of the next row, right there, make a single crochet. Skip this next row and on top of the next, make a single crochet skip the next row and on top of the next make a single crochet and this is how i'm going to continue all around just making single crochets along the very edge here the important thing here is that you skip one row and into the next you make a single crochet that way this part here is going to start to reduce and then we can close the top of the hat continue all around i will meet you right here at the end i finished making single crochets all around now i have a total of 35 single crochets if you have two three stitches less or more it's okay just continue so here to finish go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch now I'm going to make one more row here where I'm going to decrease if you're making this for baby hat or another size that's smaller you probably don't have that many um, stitches here and you can just go ahead and close the top of the hat in the same way that I'm going to show you just continue watching but here since I have a lot of stitches I'm going to make one more row of decreases so to do this here I'm going to chain one now insert your hook back into this first single crochet grab a loop insert your hook into the next grab a loop three loops close so here for this row we're going to work single crochet decreases so insert your hook into the next stitch grab a loop into the next stitch grab a loop three loops close and same thing into the next two like this three loops close continue like this all around for this second row I will meet you at the end to show you how we're going to finish this row and then we're going to close the top of the hat. I'm here at the end of this second row of single crochet decreases. I have a total of 18 single crochets. If you have one, two or three stitches less or more, it's okay. Just join to the first stitch, which is this one here, and make a slip stitch. Now pull a loop and tie a knot. This is how I close the top of the hat. So I like to just pull a loop and tie a knot there. Now cut your yarn, leave a nice long tail. And with a yarn needle, we're going to weave this all around the remaining stitches. So we're going to start here on this side. Again, all of this is from the wrong side. Skip one stitch and into the next insert the needle, skip one and into the next insert the needle and so on now just pull the yarn and that hole is going to close and with this loop here just tie a knot cut whatever yarn you have remaining I'm going to do that after. Now we're going to turn this over and this is how it looks from the right side. Here's the top of the hat. Now all you have to do is just try it on, see how it fits. I tried it on, I like the way how mine fits. This is for an adult large size. Um, mine is not tight, not too loose, it's perfect just like I like my hat. So make sure that as you're making your hat, make sure you are trying it on. Make sure that it fits nicely on your head or whoever you're making this for. You may not need to make as many rows as I did. Um, you know, it all depends on the gauge and 
the size that you're making. Remember that you can make this hat from a preemie size and up to an adult extra large size. Now I try this on my son and he said it's not too tight, it's just perfect. So I guess um, this would also work for a teen size. His head circumference is about 21 and a half um, inches and he says he likes it. So he might get to keep this hat since he said he likes the color. So the hat is all done now. At the beginning of the video, I showed you the measurements that you need in order to make the hat. And all you need to do is just make a chain here in the length of the hat that you want, plus two or three inches here for the brim. Mine is only about two inches. I didn't want a wide brim. So you can make your hat for any size, any age. In the channel, I already have a tutorial for the baby hat. I'll go ahead and leave the link down in the information box. And here you can just add a pompon. You can add a fur pompon like these. These are five inch fur pompons that I purchased from Amazon, or you can make your own pompon. I'll leave the link to a tutorial that I have in my channel of how I make my pompons. And remember, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.